The Nintendo Switch successor is just one big mystery right now. We don't know what it's going to be called, we don't know when it's going to be revealed, all we know is it's going to be in this fiscal year, and we still don't know when it's going to release. All we have is rumors suggesting the beginning of next year around the March territory. But with all of these rumors circling around, one thing is for sure, we also have no clue what the software lineup is going to look like. Year 1 for Switch 2 is massively important, and based on the rumors, Nintendo actually delayed Switch 2's launch from the end of this year to the beginning of next year due to a software launch lineup needing to be stronger, and if that's the case, Nintendo probably has lots of really powerful games lined up. I mean, we already know Metroid Prime 4 is slated for next year sometime, so a lot of people think it could even be a cross-release between the current Switch and the new Switch. We still have Pokemon Legends ZA coming, and we don't know if that's going to be coming to current Nintendo Switch, or if that's going to be a new Switch as well. It's hard to say, but one thing we're sitting and thinking about is, what is the main launch title going to be? Because even if Metroid Prime 4 is technically a day one launch title, I still think there's definitely going to be another one because it's definitely not strong enough to carry a brand new Switch. They need something that's an extremely heavy hitter, something along the lines of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And personally, I keep going back to the fact that they have two games that they could definitely go with. One of these games, in my eyes, is a 100% shoe in for a launch title for Switch 2. And those two games being a 3D Mario game and, of course, a brand new Mario Kart. But today, I want to kind of talk about which one is more likely. Are we more likely to get the 3D Mario, or are we more likely to get the Mario Kart? Well, let's dig through all the details and the facts and talk about what Nintendo would do and what's the best option for Nintendo. So before we dive in, stop what you're doing. Let's see how many people we can get to subscribe and like this video. Your guys' support does not go unnoticed, and I appreciate every single last one of you guys. But thank you so much for tuning in today, and let's dive in to the Nintendo Switch Successors launch game. First, I want to talk about 3D Mario. This October will mark 7 years since the last 3D Mario game being Super Mario Odyssey back in 2017. Now, Nintendo did give us something kind of in a 3D Mario space a little bit after this, being Bowser's Theory, which was an add-on to Mario 3D World, which gave us kind of our first little open world for Mario to explore in, but it was only about a 2-4 to four hour adventure. It was incredibly small, and that was back in 2021. So since that game, it's it's been three and a half, almost four years, which is just a brutal amount of time to wait for the next 3D Mario game. So when it comes to is it time for a new 3D Mario to even happen, it's without a question. It's almost a guarantee for there to be a 3D Mario in the year of 2026. Whether it's the beginning or end of the year, I really am expecting a 3D Mario soon. Now the rumors have been suggesting that it is going to be a big, huge, you know, evolution of 3D Mario, like an open world 3D Mario, which kind of just sounds right. You know, with what they did in Bowser's Fury on a smaller scale, I can just see it being blown out to a massive scale for Switch. Two, that is. <laughs> and yeah, so when it comes to is this even possible, it's without a doubt probably going to happen soon. Let's look at sales. Of course, this is Mario, so it's going to sell like hotcakes, but how well would it sell? Well, Super Mario Odyssey is at the number five slot for all of the Nintendo Switch games, which even for it being Mario is absolutely nuts. It's insane because the things that's actually beating it out is the actual launch title for the Switch being Breath of the Wild, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which is a given, Animal Crossing New Horizons, which actually blew up during the quarantine, and I don't think anyone expected this game to be as good as it was, and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, of course, just absolutely steamrolling everything else. But Mario Odyssey sitting at almost 28 million copies is seriously just monumental for the company. Now, even with that though, Mario Odyssey never did push any boundaries the way Breath of the Wild did. Mario Odyssey was simply just yet again, another 3D open sandbox Mario game, and we've already had two of them with 64 and Sunshine. So it's not like Super Mario Odyssey was pushing something new that we've really never seen before. Yes, it had the capture mechanic, but it wasn't breaking any boundaries as far as Mario games go, where Breath of the Wild definitely was. It was taking the Zelda series in a brand new direction with a complete vast open world to explore. The reports are saying that's exactly what Mario is about to be. Now, Zelda's already been huge, but I mean, Mario jumping into an open world, like not everyone knows what Zelda is and it's like not like a household name at this point, but I mean, Breath of the Wild definitely helped for that, but I'm telling you, everyone in the galaxy knows who Mario is. Mario is Mario. He's got a movie now, he's just got toys and merch, and just eats all over the world, so having a huge Mario game on the scale of Breath of the Wild is surely going to sell 
even I'm going to go say even like 10 times as much as Breath of the Wild. Probably not 10 times, but it, you know what I mean. It's going to be massive. And I feel like the argument to have something like 3D Mario over Mario Kart is simply due to the fact that it's a core single player experience. And Nintendo is going to probably want to have a big single player game as their launch game, you know? And if normally is that way, I don't think Nintendo would want to start a new console off with an online multiplayer game. They might want to even have time to get those servers ready and everything because most people want to unbox their new console and jump straight into a brand new adventure game. And I feel like that's exactly what Mario open world fun time is going to be yeah that's the that's the name i just gave it so when it comes to 3d mario personally i think it's overall smarter to go with something like this and save mario kart for the holiday but let's just play the mario kart side of things and see how that would turn out now if you thought waiting for a 3d mario game was long with seven years oh my goodness mario kart fans we have been waiting for over 10 years. In fact, the beginning of next year will be 11 years since we got a Mario Kart game. So when it comes to asking the question, is it even time for another Mario Kart? It's a laughable joke because we are over the amount of time for a new Mario Kart. Now something that 3D Mario does have up on Mario Kart is the fact that Mario Kart at least got DLC. Yes, it got two years of six waves of DLC, which is insane to even think about, but the last wave ended in November of 2013, which was the end of last year. So technically we did get some Mario Kart content relatively recently still, it's still been under a year since that, so maybe Nintendo still wants to hold off a little while longer and let that booster pass bake a little bit but regardless it's been 10 years since the last original mario kart game which was mario kart 8 on the wii u so we are long overdue but how well did mario kart 8 sell okay i'm not going to play around look yeah yeah in fact the only other game in nintendo's history that sold more was Wii Sports. Now that was actually bundled with the Wii console, so it's kind of cheating, but it sold 82.90 million. So yeah, I don't even know if I can properly count that one, but Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is technically the best standalone selling game for Nintendo ever. So to see that many units sold, 61.97 million, it really makes me wonder how many units they could sell as a launch title Mario Kart game for a new console. And yeah, I think when it comes to just being financially smart, having a Mario Kart game day one for Switch 2 probably just makes the most sense when you think of it as a business standpoint. Now the one problem I keep seeing people bring up is the fact that yes, once again, Nintendo probably wants to have a big single player campaign to start the new console, and Mario Kart never really offers that. But what if the next Mario Kart does? What if it actually gives us a proper story mode? Something like Diddy Kong Racing, allowing us to drive our cars around a hub world and actually do missions very similar to Mario Kart DS. That would be amazing and even bring back the boss battles from that game. I mean, Nintendo could really flesh out a really fun single player experience. And I feel like that's the main problem right now when it comes to new Mario Kart games is there's not much to do outside of playing with others and playing online. And hopefully Nintendo can find a really cool way to have some fun single player content for people that just want to take the game out the box and play it alone for the first couple of times. Trust me, I've been Team 3D Mario for the longest, but I had to admit that this does make more sense. When you've seen just how well Mario Kart has been doing for Nintendo, it's really a no-brainer. But even with that, I still kind of feel like it should be saved for a holiday title. Once again, I feel like it's just a little too soon. A lot of people are still coming up with the hype and the high of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and the DLC is still not even a year old from the last wave, so I feel like it might be pushing it a little too soon having it at the beginning of next year. There's also a worry that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe may not ever see another game reach its sales in the series. Seriously, just so many people brought Nintendo Switches, it's been obviously their most successful console ever and on top of that you know Mario Kart 8 Deluxe I think every single home that has a switch has Mario Kart 8 Deluxe it's just like one of those games that's a necessity for your console so another Mario Kart could very well be huge and actually will be huge for Nintendo 100% guaranteed but I don't know if it's going to ever sell as well as Mario Kart 8 Deluxe did. It was just in that perfect time frame to do so. But in my eyes, it really doesn't matter what comes first. I mean, as long as both of these games are year one games, it would be a spectacular year one for this console. Starting the year off with a big 3D Mario, 
and then ending it with a Mario Kart? Are you kidding me? Or even vice versa? Either way, this is just a huge stellar start for Nintendo. It's too huge IPs, both including Mario, that people are going to absolutely buy up when it hits the shelves. But if this comes down to me personally, I think I definitely would rather day one open up a huge 3D Mario open world experience for my first game on the new console. It's like the perfect type of game when you first boot up a system. I remember the feelings of jumping into Breath of the Wild for the first time on my new Nintendo Switch, man. And oh my gosh, the vibes were immaculate. And it's something like that that I want to get. You know, Mario Kart is going to be fun, and it's probably going to be very competitive with your friends and with online multiplayer, but that's not necessarily something I think I want day one. That's something that I can definitely get excited for and hype for for the holiday. But either way, I am just so excited to see what Nintendo is going to do with both of these franchises as the Switch 2 is probably getting announced very soon. I can't wait to see trailers for these games, let alone the game actually dropping. I just can't wait to see what the next Mario Kart and 3D Mario are going to look like on this new hardware. But let me know in the comments down below how excited are you for either 3D Mario or Mario Kart. Which one would you prefer to be the launch title? Which one would you prefer to be the holiday title? And thank you so much for tuning in today. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe before you head out. And like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.